Frank, you've said that physics is triumphant, it's exciting, mm. and it's a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it a mess? Well, it's a mess because our ambitions are so high. We've managed to explain so much in terms of elegant equations that we think we should be able to close the deal, uh. to explain everything in terms of elegant, simple equations. And uh, maybe we will, but that at the moment, the equations of physics uh, have many loose ends. Uh, those loose ends don't affect very much our understanding of ordinary matter, uh, the foundations of physics, uh, that is material science or uh, chemistry or chemical biology, uh, but have to do with how things behave at exotic accelerators at high energies, maybe how things behave in the early universe. So, and, and also and so, maybe in, in the standard model, you have so many different, uh, to, to make it work so beautifully and, yes. and fantastically, you have to enter by hand a lot of so-called uh, free parameters. Yeah, well, that, most of those are describing the properties of these exotic particles, yeah, yeah. unstable particles that don't play much of a role in the world, actually. Mm -hmm. They, we have fun with them at accelerators. And, <laughs> and, and uh, so there are a lot of loose ends. There are many uh, parameters, as you say, many things that aren't conceptually determined, but just determined by well, you need something to fit this measurement to that <laughs> experiment, so you, you put it in. Uh, I loved what Salieri said in the movie Amadeus about Mozart's music, which what makes it so perfect and beautiful, is that if, if you change a note, it would be diminished. If wow. you change a phrase, the whole structure would fall to the ground. And that's the way we'd like to think, or at least I would like to think the, the equation should be, but at the moment, there are lots of things you could change that, yeah. that wouldn't make it either better or worse. You've also talked about this word that pops up uh, among scientists, philosophers, reductionism, yes. which uh, some people like and some people criticize, like you're reducing everything. And uh, are you a reductionist? Well, I hate that word. <laughs> I don't like the word reductionism. I much prefer what Newton, who in many ways started it all off, called it, which is analysis and synthesis. Mm. And it's the idea that to understand natural phenomena, the uh, procedure or a procedure you might try is to study the interactions among small bits and try to find if you can find simplicity in, in those interactions and then build up by saying that the big things are just governed by the laws of all the individual small things added up without anything else. So the analysis yeah. brings, the analysis you, down brings to, you down to find those the smallest right. things and, and how they the work together. Is synthesis is solving the equations in complicated situations and seeing what you can make sort of like engineering mm -hmm. in a sense of but you're trying to engineer everything you see in the world right. just right. describing the natural world. Uh, it didn't have to work. It doesn't have to work. It, could have been that uh, astrology was right, that the distant <laughs> planets really make a difference to what's going on on Earth. Uh, it could have been that there were uh, spirits or other entities that from time to time entered the behavior of things and uh, made them not derivable from these elementary laws between little objects. I mean, if you play Super Mario Brothers, you find all kinds of strange things happen <laughs> that you can't infer from the elementary interactions <laughs> of, the, of the guy. So you know, it's, a pos it's a logically possible way for a world to be. But in our world, what's proved very fruitful is this method of analysis and synthesis. We have been extremely successful in understanding the interactions among elementary entities that in the sense that we've found elegant, simple equations for their behavior. And that using those equations, when you build up to describe more complicated things, you don't have to add anything else. Oh. People work very hard to try to find things that are discrepant, but they haven't succeeded. And you know, people look for vital forces in biology. They look for essentially chemical laws. None of that has turned out, not to mention astrology, <laughs> none of that has turned out to be fruitful or uh, uh, necessary. 
it might change someday, but that's looking more and more unlikely. And so like it or not, <laughs> this method of analysis and synthesis or reductionism is what works. That's the way the world is. Fortunately, I don't think it's reduction in the sense of making things less. Yeah. <laughs> it, if you understand it, it gives you wonderful new insights because when you do the synthesis part, you find surprises. You find yeah. that, that having this underlying knowledge of the way things work allows you to make complicated circuits, allows you to make computers, allows you to make lasers, and has all these su surprising things that na by naive fumbling around, you never ever would have produced. It empowers you. It empowers you, exactly. And it also, at the frontiers of, uh, of knowledge, it, it empowers your imagination because mm. you, you, uh, you have to use imagination to a fantastic degree to work with these very unfamiliar behaviors. The, the equations are in a, some sense mathematically simple and beautiful, but gosh, they be, the, the things they're describing are very, very strange very alien to our everyday experience. So you, you have to use your imagination to see how our world could possibly be mm -hmm. described by this. And, uh, you know, it's taken centuries to get there and you have to work your way back is, is a real exercise. And, but, but then it, it enriches your experience of the world, or at least I found that. I mean, you know, you can still enjoy the rainbow. It's a beautiful thing, but to me it enriches the experience, if you know that it's white light being broken up by refraction in little bubbles, and, <laughs> and yeah, you can go further and solve the equation and look at the equations and see why there's a, sometimes a second rainbow, and why it's brighter in between, and all these details that you, you, you write down the equations, you find them on paper, and by gosh, there it is up in the sky. That's not reduction. I mean, that's that's a fantastic enrichment of the way you can experience the world. As you are so fascinated by yeah. this, do, do you, do, are you digging into the really fundamental nature of reality and seeing physics at the as being descriptive of the most fundamental aspects of what's real? I don't know, but we're making progress. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if it's it's going to come to an end or you know with the fundamental like the meaning of the word is that you can't explain it in terms of anything simpler, and we may get to that. I mean, there are aspects of the world that seem to be converging on a picture that's hard. It's hard to getting very hard to imagine how it will change very much or how it can be explained in terms of anything simpler. So we're not there yet, but I think maybe we're getting there and in some compartments of physics were there uh, but of course that doesn't exhaust the world uh, fundamental is kind of a loaded term people you use, use the word fundamental as sort of a rough equivalent for good <laughs> good science is fundamental science uh, in the technical sense there's a difference fundamental means you can't explain it in terms of anything simpler that does, but there's lots of good science that's not that. In fact, I think a lot of the most interesting science belongs to the synthesis part. Mm. That's where you have to use your imagination to see how to use the concepts, use the, the basic irreducible knowledge to do useful things or understand strange phenomena. It's a tremendously creative process. And it definitely is fundamental in the sense of good. You learn things. <laughs> That, uh, that are pleasing and useful and uh, just wonderful. Mm -hmm.